former South Carolina governor and Trump UN ambassador has decided to throw her hat in the ring and run against her old boss. So I went to her campaign launch in South Carolina to see if the party was really ready to turn the page. Are you excited about Nikki Haley for president? Very excited. She's done great things for South Carolina. She's tough. She's a woman. Women rule. The Republican Party needs a change and we need someone with Nikki's foreign policy expertise. I love Donald Trump, but I think that she has more of a feminine finesse. You think Trump has a harder time with communicating with yes, ladies. He has yes. a harsher approach when it yes, comes to women. He, he, he sometimes has to pay for it. He sometimes yes, he has does. a hard time navigating it. Yes. I mean, I think she's really running to get, like, I don't think she'll win. Oh, so. <laughs> I think it's for VP. So this is just sort of like batting practice. It's just fun to be here. Why not? VP or president, I was curious to see how Haley could win over ardent Trump supporters. I voted for Trump, but I certainly will not be doing that again. When did Trump lose your support. The nail in the coffin for me with Donald Trump. Let me guess. Charlottesville. No. What? Okay, let me guess. Kids you're, not in the, you're not gonna guess it. Kids in cages. Nope. The insurrection, January 6th. The, nope. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, wait, hold on. First impeachment. Nope. Second impeachment. Nope. Okay, uh, inviting white supremacists over to Mar-a-Lago. No, but that, I mean, you know, criticizing DeSantis before his election. Wouldn't have guessed it. So that's the line, right that there. That was the nail in the coffin. I would have guessed kids in cages. I told you you wouldn't have guessed it. I know. I would have saved you 30 this, minutes. The this is why you come out and talk to people. You're constantly surprised. Yep. Haley has been either a strong Trump critic or a vocal Trump ally, depending on the time of day. Could this pose a problem? Did you feel like she sufficiently stood up to Donald Trump when she needed to? I, I think she has. And I think Nikki Haley's not afraid to stand up to any male or female with her voice of opinion. Yeah, so after January 6th, she wasn't afraid to say, this is disgusting. That's right. And then a couple weeks later to say they were being too hard on him. Yes, yes, so we agree, I agree uh, totally. An individual respects you if you can stand up to them. So if something awful happens, like Charlottesville. She speaks no. her mind. Charlottesville happens, she's not afraid yeah. to criticize Trump, walk right in there and hand in her 52 week notice. Right. right is right, she knows right from wrong. It's a campaign that's distancing itself from the far-right fringe. Except if you look closely at Haley's first speaker, Pastor John Hagee, who has unusual views on the weather. As a candidate, you have that responsibility to not get in the gutter. So hopefully we can stay in a more positive place. Well, the first person I saw on stage was Pastor Hagee, who thinks hurricanes are a punishment for gay people. <laughs> Is that really what he said? How long ago was that? That was uh, that was around Katrina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a that's an interesting opening act. Pastor Hagee has said that hurricanes were God's punishment for gays. Oh no. He preaches the gospel. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I followed him for years. Yeah, yeah. But maybe if she wants to attract moderates, come in with a little bit more of a moderate pastor who thinks something more acceptable like tornadoes are caused by too much masturbation. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that's way out there. No. That's too far. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Sure. Uh, and there's that line again. Good to know. former South Carolina governor and Trump UN ambassador has decided to throw her hat in the ring and run against her old boss. So I went to her campaign launch in South Carolina to see if the party was really ready to turn the page. Are you excited about Nikki Haley for president? Very excited. She's done great things for South Carolina. She's tough. She's a woman. Women rule. The Republican Party needs a change and we need someone with Nikki's foreign policy expertise. I love Donald Trump, but I think that she has more of a feminine finesse. You think Trump has a harder time with communicating with yes, ladies. He has yes. a harsher approach when it yes, comes to he, women. He, he sometimes has to pay for it. He sometimes yes, he has does. a hard time navigating it. Yes. I mean, I think she's really running to get, like, I don't think she'll win. Oh, so. <laughs> I think it's for VP. <laughs> so this is just sort of like batting practice. It's just fun to be here. Why not? VP or president, I was curious to see how Haley could win over ardent Trump supporters. I voted for Trump, but I certainly will not be doing that again. When did Trump lose your support? The nail in the coffin for me with Donald Trump. Let me guess. 